Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about decorator pattern. Decorator pattern is a structural design pattern and the main intent of this pattern is to attach additional responsibility to an object dynamically and it is mainly an alternative to subclassing. So let's walk through a problem statement and see what exactly decorator pattern help us do. And also I'm going to talk about my take on that pattern and do I find this pattern interesting and useful in my day-to-day -day work. So the case that we are going to talk about is that of a cake. So let's say we have a bakery and in the bakery, uh, the baker makes cake. Now, when we talk about cake, let's say for that purpose, let us create an interface called iCake because cake can be of different type. There can be chocolate cake, there can be vanilla cake and so on and so forth. So let's create an interface and let's call it iCake and let's say the iCake is going to have a void add layer, the layer of the cake and let's say layer is a string and then it has another one void print layers. Let's say these are the two main methods of the iCake. Now what we can do is we can create a vanilla cake class which will derive from iCake. And the vanilla cake is going to implement iCake interface. And then we are going to implement the interface. So let's declare Let's say we have list of string, which is nothing but layers. And on add layers, we can do layers dot add and just pass on the layer is coming. And the print layer, we can do So let's say this is the implementation of the layer. I think I can make it as read only as we are creating it right here. So now we have vanilla cake and it's very similar to this we can have a chocolate cake as well. So let's go ahead and create a new class. And we have a chocolate cake and for chocolate cake can have similar implementation as the vanilla cake a little bit of change here chocolate let's say this is the implementation very simple not too fancy but you get the idea we have two different types of cake one is vanilla and one is a chocolate and after the baker starts selling the cakes he started getting new requirement so his new requirement is someone came in and said hey on my cake I want to print the name. So now one way to do it is using a new class called chocolate cake with name and that can derive from the chocolate cake and you add a name to it. Now the same thing has to happen for vanilla cake. Now you have to create a vanilla cake with name derive from vanilla cake and add features to that or we can use a decorator pattern and just like the name it is going to decorate the object. So here what we can do is we can create a new interface called I cake decorator and this interface is going to implement void decorate 
and string message let's say this is how it decorate it takes a message and decorates that message or it could be instruction because the decoration can be printing a name or it can be doing something else so the interface can be generic enough or we can have specific interface so this can be cake message decorator instead of this cake decorator so so this is the cake message decorator decorate it takes a message and now we are going to implement this class and for the class cake message decorator and this is going to implement the i cake message decorator it will implement the interface and now here what we are going to have is we are going to have a constructor and the constructor is going to take i cake as a dependency and here in decorate what it is going to do is going to use cake dot add layers and to the layer it will pass the message let's say and we can make the message a little bit different here so we can say message for the cake is the message so that's the implementation of decorate now as you can see with the cake decorator now we can use both chocolate cake as well as vanilla cake to decorate it with the name or the message on top of the cake without using the decorator pattern you would have to derive from both the classes and create their subclasses to achieve the same functionality so as you can see decorator pattern just simplifies how you decorate an object and gives a very simple alternative for subclassing so instead of using the subclass now you can have a, use a single class which can decorate an object based on a particular interface so that's the main advantage of using decorator pattern now back to what i said at the beginning is what is my take on decorator pattern i personally think it's a very useful pattern because it reduces the number of code you might have to write otherwise now question is how it comes in place with solid design principle well to be honest if you start using interface segregation and single responsibility principle you will end up using a decorator pattern for a situation like this now knowing it and using it makes like simpler otherwise you will stumble upon the decorator pattern when you are trying to solve a problem of this nature now let's try to show you how we can use it so first what we will do is we are going to in the startup we will register all the services so we can add singleton i cake and let's say we want to deal with chocolate cake chocolate cake and then we have the decorator so since decorator takes i cake and we have a single registration of i cake here we should be fine using services dot add singleton and provide i cake message decorator as message decorator but if we would have implemented both chocolate cake and vanilla cake then our implementation of the i cake message decorator would have been a little bit different we would have to specify exactly which i cake we are expecting because i cake will end up resolving into two so we can either do that or and for that we can just create the instance using new and provide an appropriate implementation of i cake there but for simplicity i just registered one chocolate cake and now if we go into the controller and here if we take the i cake message decorator and we declare it and we can also take i cake as the cake itself and then here first we can do 
cake message decorator dot decorate and here we can pass a message happy birthday and then finally we can do cake dot print layers so that's what we can do the other thing what we can do is we can even encapsulate the method of cake also inside of cake decorator and i'm going to show that how to do that so let's first run this one and this should print out the chocolate cake and happy birthday in the console when we execute the basic get method now if i go and try it out and execute i can see chocolate layer and then message from the cake happy birthday as you can see it prints out both of them now next what we can do is as i was saying we can do it a little bit differently so what we can do is the i message decorator can derive from i cake that's also a way of doing it and then here can implement the implementation of i cake and on add layer all we'll do is cake dot add layer the layer and the print we can just do cake dot print layers that's all we can do and now we don't have to deal with the i cake at all we can just use this and here we can just have this and let's get rid of this now if we run this application and try to execute the same method we should see the exact same response as before see we get the exact same response as before so as you can see this decorator pattern is a very handy pattern and we can extend an object into a decorator without adding any additional functions to the object itself as you can see it's extremely powerful because then you can take an existing new get packages and you can decorate the objects provided by the package and add your layers and your features to it so that's all i wanted to cover for this video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel and you think you are getting value out of my channel please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video